Hey, welcome back to The Pass is Alive. Thank you for tuning in. Today I set out looking for Topps Chrome from 2020 and did not find it, but I ended up coming back with a bunch of Donruss 2020 packs. We got some fat packs here of regular Panini Donruss, and we also have some fat packs of Optic, Pack of Prism, and also a blaster of Series 2. I am definitely liking the 2020 Donruss design. I've been a big fan of these. I've been buying a lot of them lately, so... I cannot pass on the $5 fat packs. I've had some pretty good pulls at other ones, so love the rated rookie cards. Big fan of those. Hoping to find maybe a Luis Robert parallel in one of these packs. And I also enjoy that these have this special edition lime parallels in the Walmart packs. And it looks like we have either an auto or a relic coming up. There's a Mike Trout. Nico Horner rated rookie was one I did not have in my rookie PC. Pretty stoked to get that one in my collection. And it looks like a Brandon Woodruff. And it is a patch relic there. Not really a highly desired name, but still a cool looking card. I like the design of that. And an Aaron Judge. These are also exclusive to Walmart. These are the red hollow parallels, but unfortunately with the jumbo packs or fat packs, you get busted corners. And check this out, Luis Robert red hollow parallel. Wow, was I stoked to pull this card. Definitely a pretty amazing one. Not a whole lot of value to this one. This, problem, this one's probably around 20 bucks or so, but uh, definitely an awesome one to add to the rookie card collection. Very, very nice Luis Robert rookie parallel. And there we go, got him a top loader. Very first pack, some pretty awesome luck on that one. Very stoked. Definitely liking these uh, different parallels and whatnot, these fat packs. A Boba Shet. That is a very, very cool looking insert card. Probably one of the best ones in that insert set. Kind of a little blemish to that top left corner, unfortunately. Like I said, the problem with these, these fat packs is that is uh, kind of common. Luckily, the Luis Robert was uh, undamaged, so to speak, at the, at, at the very least. I didn't notice anything. Very, very nice first pack there in the books. Moving on to the second pack, you have Jordan Alvarez in the front of these ones. I think he's been popping up a lot more lately. I haven't seen him in a while. But you get 30 cards for about five, I think they're 548, 549, something like that. Uh, definitely not a bad buy. A lot of people kind of Turn their backs on Don Rusk because of them not having an official license, but I don't seem to mind them, and I'm always looking for rookies, so uh, they're definitely very plentiful in these packs, as you can tell already. I like how they brought back the 86 design as well. Pretty awesome. Yamamoto rookie card, and you have a couple of these Don Kings per pack. Joey Votto, I'm actually not entirely sure what kind of parallel it is but the guy uh, has like the stars around the border pretty cool looking though and josh bell several more parallels here and some insert cards strawberry 86 donruss and a few other ones to end that pack out before moving on to the final pack of regular Don Russ here, what awaits us inside? These ones are kind of tricky to open sometimes. Rip into this one and let's see what we got. We got a Mike Trout base card. And Kyle Lewis, ready rookie. Definitely a nice name there. Think he's gonna be a big one. Card's probably worth a few bucks, but definitely a nice one to pick up now before they continue to go up. And Jordan Alvarez, one of the best cards in this set right now. Between Jordan and Luis Robert, nice to see both of those guys and just three fat packs. Pretty awesome. And a very nice Nolan Ryan parallel here at the 86 design. Very cool, like that one a lot. Dominators, kind of remind me of the early 90s Don Rust Dominators. Very, very flashy, nice looking cards. We got some rookies here, nothing too promising to end the pack out, but 
Um, definitely worth the value, I think, for about 550. For 30 cards, you can't go wrong. Now, the Donruss Optic from 2020, these just came out. These are a little more expensive. These are about 11 bucks per pack. But in terms of value, cards are a little more expensive and um, pricey. But definitely very flashy. Good look to these cards. My first time opening them, a Ronald Acuna Jr. Lime Parallel there. That's a pretty nice looking card in the very first pack. Those are exclusive to Walmart. So you get four per fat pack, and you got a Javi Baez All-Stars Parallel there as well. Another nice one. And these are really cool. Stained Glass Insert Set. I don't know if these were one per fat pack or what, but... Um, they're pretty sweet though. Miggy Cabrera stained glass insert card. Very cool looking. Definitely a cool idea for them to do that. And look at that. Juan Soto mythical insert. Very first pack. Not a bad start at all. Definitely seeing some nice ones in here. And I love the rated rookies. I think they're freaking awesome. Juan Soto Diamond Kings. Nothing else too great in that pack but um definitely a good one so far on to pack two of optic i was very surprised to find these in the shelves but like i said no tops chrome from 2020 today i'd like to rip one of those and try to find the luis robert before it's freaking 200 bucks hopefully it doesn't get to that point but or before i get it at least keith hernandez parallel there is an alex bregman lime tony gonsolin not a bad one for the key lime and the stained glass card as well. Nothing too prominent there. Definitely very, very nice shiny looking cards. Bryce Harper Diamond Kings ends that pack out. On to pack three. And then we rip open the Prism Pack. Those are around 11 or 12 bucks too for one pack. But they are pretty hot right now. And then you can find the mega boxes. They're about 40 bucks. Saw a couple of those today, but passed on them. And let's check out pack three leads us to. Let's see if we can find that Robert in one of these. Into the key limes. And there's a nice one though, Dustin May. That's definitely another one I had my eye out for. And the key lime parallel, definitely a nice name as far as rookies go in 2020. And Mike Trout, mythical insert to go along with the Juan Soto. Very nice. Very nice. like that card a lot. And Holly Baez All-Stars. We saw the line parallel earlier. Danny Mendick, seen a lot of his cards lately. Have probably 10 of his 2020 tops. Can't seem to stop pulling those ones. Takes us on to the very last pack of Optic for the night. And we'll rip it into Prism and then into the Series 2 Blaster. Looking for the no name on front, Robert. That would be pretty freaking awesome. But I like those medallion cards they have in there too. Those are pretty freaking cool. These ones are kind of bricked up a little bit, but you don't got to worry about paper loss on these. At least not for another 20 years, probably. There's our. Key Lime, Miggy Cabrera, Diamond Kings, and Ronald Acuna Jr. All-Stars uh, parallel there. We saw the regular base card earlier. Pretty cool. Acuna off to a slow start so far this season, but I think he'll pick it up. And some more Raid Rookies. Tony Gonsolin, base Raid Rookie card. Brendan McKay. And that ends our optic out. Let's rip into some Prism and see what we can find in here. You have 12 cards in the regular pack, and then you have a bonus pack of eight cards. And these are pretty nice. See if we can't find ourselves one of these prominent 2020 rookies in here. Like again, these are about, I think 11 bucks a pack. Somewhere in that range. Buster Posey, more than likely he'll be getting the Hall of Fame at some point, so buy his cards up while you can. Nice looking. I think that's a subset card. Might even be an insert. Aaron Judge insert card is definitely a nice one. And another Dustin May. His rookie card out of Prism. Nice one for my rookie PC. So pretty stoked about that pack. No Luis Robert in that one. But still, nice Judge and a nice Dustin May. So I will take it. And then on to the bonus pack. Eight cards in here. 
What is it going to yield? So we've got a Kyle Schwarber in the back of this one. These ones are definitely nice looking too. And nothing too promising in there, but definitely a nice sight. Very good looking cards. That is it for our single packs. Now onto the blaster for seven more series two packs. Hopefully finding a short print or a super short print or even a Robert medallion. People are going nuts for his cards right now. Other than that, there's not anything else too crazy in series two, the Shogo rookie card. I think that he potentially could be another Ichiro down the road. You never know. Other than that, um, I think it's too early to tell for a lot of these other prospects. First pack into the blaster box, and then we have our medallion card in the black pack, and we will save that for later. But uh, we've, we've all seen a good bit of these by now, I feel like. Manny Machado, subset cards, and the turkey red cards are usually about one per pack from what I've noticed. And on to pack two. Barry Larkin, 85 tops. And sir, that's pretty cool. I like how they did that. Turkey red card. Nothing else too great in that one. Pack three coming right up. Let's see if we can find ourselves another robber. We had some pretty good luck so far. We pulled four of them. Now, three out of six fat packs, and then I pulled one out of a blaster a couple days ago. Let's see if we can keep the the lucky streak going there's a gold card those ones are usually every few packs some of the years tops decided to put one in every single pack back in the 90s they did that for a couple of years but it's still pretty hard to, to put together an entire set i have some friends that um, are trying to do things like that put together tops gold sets or leaf black gold sets and things like that and pretty difficult to do you got to buy a lot of packs to put them together by hand and Mike Schmidt wars the Diamond Big Mac. It's turkey red. No Luis Robert in that pack. Good thing we have two more left. The last blaster that I bought, I found them in the very last pack. So open these two, and then we will rip open that mystery pack and see who our medallion card is. Fingers crossed for Luis Robert. There he is. Luis Robert rookie card. That is now the fifth one I pulled. So pretty good luck. I know people. some people have said they've opened a lot of these and have not been able to find it, but we are going to give this card away very soon. All you have to do is comment down below on this video. One entry per person. Comment on this video, and I'm giving that Luis Robert away just because I've had a lot of people say that they have not been able to find that card, so... I am going to try to assist you with that problem, and I'm going to send it your way. If you win the raffle, uh, comment below, and then at some point soon, probably on Tuesday, we will do a comment generator, the Shogo rookie card. Nice one. We'll comment generate, and we will give away the Luis Robert, and it may be coming to you. So please leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you like about the channel, whatever. And, um, you know, don't just type a letter or one word, but uh, write a sentence and you will be included in the giveaway on Tuesday for the Robert Rookie card. And one more pack left here. Don't want to be a glutton. I don't think we're going to see any more Roberts in the last pack, but you never know. Maybe we'll find a Robert Gold. That'd be pretty awesome. Be a high dollar card right now. Oh, last pack. Magic, anybody? See what we can come up with. Ozzy Albies and a Howie Kendrick tops now card. Randy Johnson, Turkey Red. Nothing else too great in there. Let's rip open this medallion and see what we get. Again, these are one per blaster. And who is it going to be? It's going to be Joey Gallo. Those are super nice looking, though. I like those a lot. Very, very nice. One per blaster box. And very, very nice. So once again, guys, I appreciate you watching. Go ahead, comment down below, and enter yourself in this giveaway to win the Luis Robert rookie card that is 
behind this crazy pandemonium right now. Um, So that is all I have for you guys tonight. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you tomorrow night with a jam-packed box.